and I doubt it's gonna be able to keep this up very much longer. Oh! Hey! Oh, oh, I guess we're back. Oh, um... Uh... Oh? Uh? Yes! Today, Precarious plays... Chrono Trigger. Okay. And that is how you ice a uh, Giga Mutiny Tyrant thing. <laughs> Look at that. It's lovely. Amazing fake out there. That was good. All right, let's see what we get. A white gemstone. And... Megalixir! Oh. All right, do we should go back and save, right? Mm-hmm. We go back and save without yeah that those walls it's it's I always think that the save points are going to be you should shelter first I always think that the um save points are going to be deprived deprived I think oh like they're gonna go away after the boss yeah yeah <laughs> shelter. Oh boy, you're really... The, yeah, the language centers are done. Nope, I'm gonna need you to step up your game. Um... Do we wanna... I mean, we should keep going. Mm-hmm. I wonder how hot it is. No, I mean, no. <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. I wonder if it's hotter than a desert. Less hot than a desert. Is it like... Like a forge fire, or a stove, or the sun surface, Hello? or Beyonce. <laughs> Nothing is. Um, just allow the feeling of heat to come and go. You know, I said Beyonce because I thought it would be the most obvious, broad cultural touchstone. I should have been truer to myself and said something like games appropriate. I don't know what I was thinking. That's the heat. That's the heat talking. Mm hmm. Oh. Um. I'm glad we saved. We hit the shell, right? We just attacked the. No, we boop him on the snoot. It's a snoot boop situation if it's like last time. Last time it was boop the snoot. Boop the snoot to win. Let me. Uh, wow. Let me check. That wasn't too bad. This is him, right? That's a lava spawn. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think we need another one of those. You can get two different helms, but we've got the helms that we need. We have the helms. Yeah. And if this helm is, I don't think it. I don't even think it's the, the same item. Um. So don't attack the shell. Right. And it seems like his worst attack we are... we absorb. Look out for a dark bomb that deals wildly variable shadow damage. So just don't use multi-hit attacks. Okay. So I'm going to use Glacial Freeze for the 8,000th time because it's really good. It's a keeper. It's a it's good for the snoot booping. Snoot booping. Um Yeah, cat attack is a single target. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. So just keep everybody healthy. Be prepared to deal with any uh, sudden bursty uh, dark damage. Gosh, cat attack is surprisingly powerful. Oh, you know what you should try doing with Isla? What? Just attacking. Oh. Uh, do I get to choose a target? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just never used the attack button. It's so rustic. No, that was not as good as cat attack. But it was also free. Um, you should be wary. That's the guy lied to me. This isn't fire damage. No, it's not. 
Uh, we're gonna use cure two on frog. Uh, no, just use um double cure. What? Oh. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. When did we get that? Just, cure so... double cure health two health band aid band aid box box band aids. <laughs> <laughs> brand name bandages off brand bandages. Dino bandage. Dino ooh, bandage ooh. is probably an attack in this game. All of the cute little bacon bandages, and it's like, do I eat it or do I heal with it? Oh, you know, I think that I I kept a box of ban bacon bandages long enough for the adhesive to get bad and never used them once. Yeah. I, d I did that once. I kept the box. They though. weren't very good bandages. They were not, but they were hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I should probably explain just in case. They they were bandages. They were band-aids. And it was just They were they had a a print and a die cut that made them look a little like bacon strips. Yeah. Should I I can't That was about a third of her HP. She could kiss her own wounds. Yeah, she can. You're and you right. can just glacial freeze the face. Sometimes I forget people can heal themselves. <laughs> that's really that's suddenly really depressing, man. Yeah, yeah, that is. <laughs> I think there's a lesson about teamwork and camaraderie in there, though. Let's look, let's look at the uplifting side. Speaking of the uplifting side, totally kicked the shit out of those 5,000 undead and won the day, and it was super cool. And... I mean, I guess as a player, I can reward the peasantry by doing my darndest to keep them out of danger and letting them go as soon as I have units to replace them. It's just like it never, the depression train never stops. Um, a heal from Prague will fix that. Although, maybe wait and use double cure again. That's probably double cure. Where the be... Maybe? You decide. Okay. Um. Moderate HP. But I, I'd never... I'd never seen a battle at that scale. It was... It was completely overwhelming. It was like... 5,000 troops that even though it was a desperate uphill battle for them, the only advantage they had was numbers. It was just like they kept coming up that they were pushing past, they were climbing over one another to get to my my spearmen. They were so, they were so dense that my archers could Normally you have to like tell your archers to stop firing and reposition them if you don't want to accidentally shoot your own people in the back. Mm -hmm. There were so many undead that I could just have them aim off to the far corners and safely watch the arrows fly over my line, their horde, and then hit enemies way out in the middle of the field. It was like my lords sort of won the day because I have I've got the, the, the Fey Enchantress is my legendary lord and then uh, I have a damsel who is lore of beasts and it was just giant exploding trees and hordes of magic crows <laughs> just trying to burn down these no joke, like 3,000 zombies. It got desperate by the end. There was a point where uh, their vampire count broke away from who they were supposed to be fighting. Like, they, they did something squirrely. I'm not entirely certain how they, they got away. Like, I don't know if it was just luck or if I wasn't paying enough attention or if they have an ability that lets them... I mean, they're vampires, right? They could have mm. turned into fucking bats. And disappeared. <laughs> for yeah. all I know, yeah. Um, so, 
they broke away and marched up a hill and uh, caused a group of uh, men at arms to rout temporarily. So I had to have my peasant archers, one group of them, throw down their bows and charge forward to hold the line. And they did. And it was awesome because the reason why they did is because seeing that, I took a break from having my lord and lady um, blow up zombies with magic to give uh, stone skin and wild shape, I think, to that group of archers. So they were suddenly as armored and as proficient in melee as knights. Whoa. Yeah, isn't that such a cool image? Like these peasant archers throwing down their bows and running forward to fight the fucking vampire at, yeah. the, at the head of this army. And and the, the two magic ladies, the two magical girls that are with them are like, you will, you will win in our name. And then just they magic them up and it works. <laughs> and the... The scale, just the scale of it was is really, it's kind of unmatched. I've never, I mean, I've mentioned before, we, we don't like to talk about uh, our other show. Whenever, whichever show we're doing on our channel, we don't talk about the other one. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like what I want for that campaign. Like that kind of mass battle. Yeah. 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 And the in Total War Warhammer's case, that asymmetry. There's no other. I mean, it, it's sort of like it's a little bit like Starcraft. If Starcraft lets you field five thousand Zerglings. <laughs> um. So I went back to the save point. Yeah. After this, I'm hoping that it doesn't just respawn to spite me. No, I don't think those come back. They're bosses. Or mini bosses. Um. I'm not sure what to do because I think we might be able to stop for the day. And I, I think that it's sort of. You no, know, you know what? Let's keep going. And if what is about to happen, what I think is about to happen, actually happens, I think we'll stop here early and then pick it back up in one more episode for today. Because okay. then we should finally be able to um, do the other versions, like the other time periods. Zzzz. Black omens. Mm-hmm. Man, time travel sucks to talk about. Now we're just fighting more wall dudes. Jesus. Yeah, this is gonna take at least an episode all on its own. You know what? I've changed my mind. We're just going to go until this starts, and then we'll start a new episode, because I could see this taking 15 minutes easily all on its own. Mm -hmm. God, I, you know, I'm kind of worried that this is going to be something that we can't do. Like, we might have to leave and go grind. But that's still fine, because it'll yeah. still be at the end of a session. Uh, just make sure you steal speed capsules, or charm speed capsules from all of these, and then bust them up once you're done. Okay. This gets everybody. And by the time these... Did you charm them? I'm charming them as we go across. Ice water does not use Isla. So by the time we're done with all of them, Isla will have had plenty of time to charm all of them. So I've charmed one so far. So like, now I'm charming the second one over. Everybody's still pretty healthy. And the ice water doesn't use that much in the way of MP. It's not so bad. It's Just not ridiculous. Please make sure that you do really thoroughly actually get all of them because five speed tabs is huge. Okay. That's like 
hypothetically a third of all the speed roundabouts mm -hmm. a character can have. I should, re I should really check that myself, because this guide has been pretty inconsistent with how accurate it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the end, the most important thing to me is that everybody winds up being about the same speed. Yeah. And then maybe if we have um, tabs left over, we make Marley the fastest, just so that way she can haste everybody more quickly. Mm hmm Yes. Speed Demon. Speed Demon Marley. Marley Davidson. <laughs> I don't know if Harleys are particularly <laughs> fast. That's probably not a good... They can be. Well, the important thing is that it is a motor vehicle which conveys... I'm explaining the joke. I've got bad news. The joke, it's died on the operating table. <laughs> All, right. All right. That's the last charm that has to go out. You're sure? Yeah. I did them from one side to the other. Okay. Obtain speed capsule. All right. Frog. Goodness. I'd say, I'd say that you better be sure because we've got it recorded. But the fact of the matter is that it is... So warm. <laughs> and I I can't blame you. I won't mind. I mean I might mind mind later once I've cooled down. But right now, man, it's gotten to the point where everything's just psych it's just, uh, copacetic is the word. Mm -hmm. Not psychedelic. Although it might be getting there. <laughs> um One thing that Oh, we're done. Neat. One thing that occurs to me whenever it's really hot yeah. is that I understand why people are so chill when they visit tropical places. It's not that it's relaxing, it's that there's not much choice. <laughs> like, are you gonna go jogging in this temperature? No. You're gonna drink something cold somewhere flat. You know? <laughs> and I mean, the like openness of those spaces has to be part of it. Because I think it would be excruciating if it wasn't for the sea breeze. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think you'd be just, just, it'd be just as relaxing to go to the a desert. Yeah, right? I was going to say, that's just desert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just so we're keeping track. Listen, I mean, they're halfway made out of the same stuff. Yeah. If you remove the humidity and the ocean and the breeze, you just have, you have a desert. And some people find that quite relaxing in its own way, but... Yeah, there's somebody that I, I like on YouTube. Um, dang. I don't think I've had to say his name out loud before. Mm -hmm. Noah Caldwell. Is it Gervais? Gervais. I think the S is silent. Mm. Maybe. Anyway, the point is, Noah. Mm-hmm. Um... He has <laughs> two principal. What is happening? Are Why you... am I in two places? Are you healthy? Yeah, I just did the okay. shelter, just saved. Can you interact with those holograms? I'm hoping are not clones. Nope. And this is no. Is there one for everybody further in? Yeah. Yeah. Can you check the sides? Because it looks like... Oh, no. No, you can't I can't that... get off this okay. track. Okay. I don't want to fight all of us, but... What is... Uh... Oh, is oh. it time for that? It uh... is time for that. Okay, well, two things real fast, because this episode is going to stop here, and then we're going to handle this. Um... Does video game analysis and then also some like travel logs. Yeah. And he has an appreciation for these like ruined places, sort of like the Fallout aesthetic, but in real life. Hmm. Like he <laughs> recently he was talking about he had his favorite deserts. Oh, like ghost, like ghost towns, like old gold rush towns and stuff like that. Yeah, but I think he was talking about Fallout 
New Vegas specifically, and he was like, it's based so casually, right? Yeah. It's based on one of my favorite real life deserts. <laughs> and it's uh, this, in, this implication that he has like this hierarchy of wastelands. I just thought it was really. Yeah, was that's really, pretty funny. It was really, it was really charming. It's like, this is one of my favorite places to die. <laughs> If I'm gonna die under the sweltering sun, it's gonna be here.